So it looks like we're getting a new Marvel Legends Spider-Man VHS Dr. Octopus and Aunt May 2-pack. But is this one the one that we've been waiting for, guys? And is it going to be worth your money? Be sure you stick around until the end, Soulmates, because we're going to talk about what Spider-Man characters we would like to see next from this line. So as a lot of us know, because many of us were fans of Spider-Man the Animated Series when we were kids or else we watched it long after it came out because its popularity endured, Dr. Octopus was very differently portrayed on the show as compared to the comics because he was a much more athletic looking man compared to what we see from the traditional look that's used in the comics. On Spider-Man the Animated Series, Dr. Octopus had more of an armored look, but still he retained his traditional tentacles as well as his classic color scheme. Meanwhile, Aunt May is portrayed as not quite as old as we see her traditionally in the comics, but still a middle-aged woman and she usually wears fairly conservative clothing and that translates over to the show fairly well too. Back when Toy Biz made the Spider-Man the Animated Series line in the mid-90s, we never saw an Aunt May for that line, probably because she wouldn't have been the most exciting release. She wasn't exactly toyetic and we didn't see an Aunt May release until the Famous Covers line. As we all know, of course, Aunt May from Famous Covers is a little rough, to say the very least. However, we absolutely did see a release of Dr. Octopus in this line, and this one was kind of a curious release at the time, because it didn't exactly look like Dr. Octopus from the show. It kind of looked like his traditional look, plus a little bit from the show in addition. Another curious thing about this Dr. Octopus release was that he didn't have bendy tentacles like the Marvel Super Heroes release did. This one had a mechanism that when you pulled it caused his tentacles to curve inward because they had strings inside the tentacles. Well, fortunately, we are getting a much accurate Dr. Octopus now with bendy tentacles, and how is he? Well, we're going to talk about him in a second, but first, let's take a look at Aunt May. So, Aunt May had a couple of different looks on Spider-Man the Animated Series that we usually saw her in. One was more of a casual look where she wore a teal sweater along with a sort of grayish purple skirt that she tended to wear around the house and sometimes even out and about. The other look that we see on the show and the one that's featured here in this action figure is her dressier appearance where she wears a teal coat along with a purple tie and again that grayish purple skirt. Now I am very happy to report here that Aunt May is very accurate to how she appears on the TV show. So this one is a pretty obvious slam dunk in my eye. She doesn't come with very much and I don't really know what she would come with unless she just came with specific items that we saw on various scenes from the TV show, but what she does come with is a set of extra hands. Judging by her skirt and her coat, there probably isn't going to be a lot of articulation in her legs and her upper body to speak of. Most of the articulation for her is probably going to be in the arms and the head as well as the knees and the ankles. The plastic in her clothes seems a little thick, so I really wouldn't expect any more movement beyond that. Actually, I can't wait to see what crazy things customizers do to get her into all kinds of action poses. It's going to be so funny when she comes out. Something that a lot of people don't seem to care for on Aunt May is her head sculpt. And I don't think I agree with that. I think that the head sculpt on Aunt May, although a little strange at first, is actually pretty faithful to what we see from Spider-Man the Animated Series because there's a lot of different shots on that show where she has that exact expression on her face. She's pretty much always concerned about something, whether it's bills or just Peter's well-being, she's always got that expression. So to me, this makes perfect sense, and I think that this is a really nice translation of Aunt May from Spider-Man the Animated Series. I think she's definitely worth checking out, guys, and if you want an animated version of Aunt May from that show, 
This seems like kind of an obvious one to get. If you're enjoying the video so far, soulmates, please take the time to leave this one a like because these take a lot of time to put together and I really appreciate it. Before we get back to the rest of Doc Ock and Aunt May, if you want to see more of my videos, please consider subscribing so you don't miss a single one when it comes out. Of course, the second action figure we're going to talk about is, I guess you could call him the star of the show, Dr. Octopus. And this one is another slam dunk, I think. This is some really nice work here. Now, the first and most obvious and also most important thing that they include with Dr. Octopus here is bendy tentacles. They are bendable absolutely 100%. And not only are they bendable, but another cool feature that they have is that they're backward compatible with your Dr. Octopus action figures that you bought in the past. So if you got Dr. Octopus either from a prior wave where he had those plastic tentacles or you got him from the Silk 2-pack that was on Amazon, you can put these tentacles on those and yeah, it works 100%. That said, the action figure we're seeing here is really, really nice. They went all out on this sculpt. They didn't hold anything back on this one, and he looks fantastic for it. They managed to capture all of Dr. Octopus's details perfectly down to the grid work on the green portions of his costume and the armor on his chest, his gauntlets, his boots, and his belt. The little segments even have the nice orange decals on them to create more separation between that color and the yellow. I gotta say guys, I have been critical of some of the Spider-Man the Animated Series releases in the past, but this one, they absolutely nailed it. Nothing is wrong with this one, I don't think. Now besides the bendy tentacles, he comes with an extra set of hands. One is a hand that's kind of open so he can hold things, and the other one is sort of a frustrated hand that's kind of just cursing Spider-Man. Both of these hands seem very appropriate, so they're very cool to have, and I think overall with the tentacles, this makes for a very nice package. Very pleased with this one. One big difference from the previous Dr. Octopus release, and something that might bother some collectors out there, is that this Dr. Octopus doesn't have a torso rocker, which might be a little bit disconcerting, but I kind of understand it considering that they're trying to work out the design issues of getting the tentacles on his back in the most appropriate way possible. And to do that, they've given him a waist rocker instead, which has a pretty good degree of movement, I think. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that, really. They worked out the design issue. They thought that that was the best way to handle it. And I think they're probably right on that. This looks like a really fantastic action figure, guys. One of the more curious things about this package, I think, is the price tag, because it's $52.99 or $53. And somehow that's much less than I expected it to be for Dr. Octopus, because I imagined when we saw Dr. Octopus that he was going to be a straight $40 action figure or something like that. So $52.99 here is quite a surprise. But considering that the lizard went up for sale for $30 and Rhino went up for sale for almost $40, I guess we can chalk this up as a sort of W. Something that I think hurts this one is that this is an extremely desirable action figure for collectors of Marvel Legends and Spider-Man collectors in general. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, so even though it says it's $52.99, in reality, it's going to wind up costing a lot more with the shipping that, you know, you're going to have to pay after buying it from Hasbro Pulse. It's really mind-boggling that this isn't a general release because it seems like such an easy W. Dr. Octopus, everyone wants him with bendy tentacles and here he is and yet we can only get him on Hasbro Pulse now. It seems like it always goes this way with the most desirable action figures. The Lizard is a Walmart exclusive. Rhino is a fan channel exclusive. The cell shaded 90s animated Spider-Man that no one got for $25. 
was a Walmart exclusive. They're always doing this, it seems like, with the very most desirable Marvel Legends, and it's really frustrating. It's just really bizarre because Hasbro will complain about low profits, but then they'll turn around and do something like this, where they only make this really desirable action figure available on their website. Ultimately, I do think this two-pack is worth checking out because the toys here are really, really good. But you do have to decide whether you're okay paying through the nose for shipping from Hasbro Pulse on this one. Well, Soulmates, now that we've seen this Doc Ock and Ant May two-pack, what Spider-Man, the animated series characters, would we like to see next from Marvel Legends? Well, obviously, we need to see the animated series version of the Chameleon at some point because he's a very unique looking character with a specific look for the show, but also it would be great to see Mysterio in his animated series costume, because he too had a very specific, unique costume for the show. Both of those, I think, would be very, very cool to see, guys. Well, Soulmates, what do you think of this Doc Ock and Aunt May 2-pack? Is this one that you want for your collection? Are you on the fence about it because maybe you like Doc Ock but not Aunt May? Or is this just not really doing it for you entirely for whatever reason? I don't know guys, let me know what you think down in the comments and be sure you let me know what Spider-Man character you want to see next. If you'd like to learn more about the Symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage 2-pack, you can watch that video here, soulmates.